Pip Pip the Diddly Do, or whatever the hell that was from Drake and Josh. Y'all remember that episode? Ha! Drake, Josh, those guys. That show was funny for like a couple seasons. Anyway, here we are back in the thick of Pokemon. Here's our Pokemon Silver Nuzlocke, in case you couldn't guess from me naming the video that. Um, hopefully I'm not super tired and definitely named the video correctly when I upload it, but that'll be in the future. Here we are. It's Fettle. It's Fettle time. Alright, I did a lot of grinding in between. Um, I beat a bunch of, not a bunch, but like a few trainers that I didn't beat on camera. Um, last time I tried to beat a bunch of trainers just so I could grind on wild Pokemon, but I just kind of ran into some that I darted past. You probably saw me run past them and you were like, why didn't you fight them? Well, because I was dumb slash tired slash lazy, so... I did fight a couple trainers. Nothing crazy happened, though. Just leveled everyone up to at least 20, I think. Yeah. Let's go through them. Here we got our main man, that trumpeting Wumpet. He's uh, got Water Gun, Bite, Headbutt, and Scratch. I did buy a couple TMs. Nothing crazy again there, just like Headbutt, really. I really just bought a few Headbutts, because it's cheap, and it's stronger than, like... Uh, rage is what I replaced. Not a ton of special attack, but that's why he's got headbutt. We have Strength the Drowsy, one of our newer additions to the team, named after the House of Dead uh, boss. I gave him headbutt as well. Also at level 18, he learned Confusion, so he finally has uh, a psychic move, although his physical attack is much higher. Probably for me killing a fuck ton of uh, Rattata's training. He got a lot of EVs. Of course, we have our lovely, shiny Iroquois, the Ekans. I still feel bad about replacing Pliskin like that, but... Here we are with Iroquois, Poison Sting, Bite, Wrap, and of course, Headbutt. Uh, I didn't really grind on Angrok, because he was already at 20. He got buff after beating Bugsy. But he does have Rock Throw and Magnitude. Segworm, of course, I did not give Headbutt to. It's because... Uh, She's already got Quick Attack and Cut and Fury Swipes for normal moves. None of those are as powerful as Headbutt. But, um, I don't know. I didn't want to, like, overload her with normal moves and I was running out of money. And she does have Dig. I gave her Dig, which I already had. Which is ground, and that's that's good coverage against rock types. Because um, she would have trouble with those. And we have Cyril, who I gave uh, Swift instead of Headbutt, because I already had Swift. Um, and learned Sweet Kiss. So, not completely useless now. Not amazing either, but not useless. That reminds me... I should have done this... I didn't do this every single day since I last recorded, but I should have been. Oh, I, I also got the bicycle. Nothing crazy there. You just talk to... In case you've never played Pokemon Silver before, you just talk to the bicycle guy, and he's like, here's a bicycle. But anyway, I should be going downstairs to give Cyril a haircut... Haircuts increase happiness, and happiness makes to, uh, Cyril evolve. 300 Poké Dollars, alright. Let's do it. Give him a haircut, he'll look cool! There we go, all done. Looks a little happier. Well, I'll fucking take it. What do you do, old lady? Oh, you sell herbs, no thank you. Those actually lower friendship, but they are cheap healing options, but I'm not in the business of not being friends. I'm in the business of friendship. Alright. So, as promised, today is the momentous day that we slam my bicycle into a wall. Ah, we're gonna take on Whitney. A, uh... She's got a... She made a bit of a name for herself in the Pokemon rings as, uh, one of the tougher gym leaders for the early game. She certainly does have a a strong loadout. Um, I don't know why saving just makes me feel safer. So we're gonna save. Alrighty. I feel primed and ready. Let's just see. I believe she only has two Pokemon, Clefairy and Miltank. So... Let's bring out Angrok. Because that Clefairy is going to have a hard time dealing with him. And if we can just trade Angrok, not trade like let him die, but if we can trade out 
his HP for the Clefairy's HP and the rest of the five are just dealing with Milk Tank, I think we can do it. Alright, here we go. Pokemon are super cute. No shit. You wanna battle? I'm warning you. I'm good. Oh, I know it, Whitney. Now, I don't think she's as hard as everyone seems to say she is, but, um, certainly in a Nuzlocke, it's scary. Because once that thing uses rollout, it, it could be all over. So out comes Clefairy. Here we have Angrok. Let's go for a Magnitude. Let's, let's get risky with our first turn. Magnitude 8, thank you, it paid off. Oh my god, that was so much damage. That was awesome. That's less awesome. Did you just metronome into Sing and it hit at like a 55%? That is way less awesome. Okay, well... I'm really kind of scared of this. What the fuck? What's going on? You're glowing. Is that sky attack? I think sun... It's not... It's not solar beam. Because that one's like, draws in sun. I think this is sky attack. Oh man, I don't know what to do. I don't want to... I don't know if I want to risk this being, I know it's not Solar Beam, but it, I don't know what else it could be. And even a Sky Attack, like, it's not very effective, but it has a high crit rate. It's really scary. I think Angrok is the best one to handle this. Yeah, I think Angrok's gonna handle this best. So let's just hope and pray. It is Sky Attack. Oh my god, it's Firo! Slash Moltres! Oh, they did nothing! I'm worrying over here for nothing! Oh god. Faint attack, okay. I'm getting worried this thing will do water gun or something. That still did a decent amount. Thank you! Thank you, Angrok. Okay. That's a scary, uh, a scary one out the way. Even scarier right here. Alright, Angrok, I need an, a magnitude from you. Are you faster? Alright, magnitude 7, that's good. We're rolling the dice. That didn't do as much as I wanted. This is what's scary. That was a crit, but this is going to get way stronger. Alright, let's roll out all the, the, the magnitudes we got. Okay, another 7 is good. All right, let's give it another one. All right, another seven. I'll take it. Okay, how much is this gonna do? Okay. How about this? How about I bought some super potions? Christ. This is what gets scary about this. Oh my god. I kind of want to just wait out the, the rollout until it gets weaker. Oh boy. Holy shit. Um, is it going to get even stronger than that? No one else can take this hit. Oh my god. Oh boy. That was scary. Okay, Angrok, are you about to... No, never mind. Fuck! I thought we were about to sweep this bitch with just one of our Pokemon. But it's going to make it more difficult. Okay. I think we're okay, though. I think we're still in the clear from this. Because this rollout can't... She can't build up power in time. Unless we get a bunch of low magnitude rolls. Okay, that was really bad. Okay, I'm hoping she doesn't build up that kind of power in this kind of time. Okay... Um, Angrok, let's try a rock throw. Uh-huh. Uh-huh. Okay. Magnitude is not likely to miss. Oh, okay. Okay. Okay, now you bring out the magnitude 10. Oh! That scared me a lot. I know we were- No, 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 no. 
No, sir. We're not doing that. I'm not giving into the temptation. We're not doing that. Not even as a as a as a martyrdom move. Not even as a he's gonna die anyway and should just do this to get some extra damage. I'm not putting that out there into the universe. Okay, this crying bitch is crying. Ugh. She always cries when she loses. Yeah. I was about to cry if I lost Angrok. Like, I don't think we were really in danger of losing the battle at that point, but we were definitely in danger of losing Angrok. Because that, that got him down to 7 HP. I feel like if that was min-maxed, he could have he could have died. Or, and, of course, there's always, you know, crits. He definitely could have died to a crit a couple times there, or a min-max type of thing. Okay, we have the plane badge. Now I can breathe. Oh, man. Mamma, jamma, whamma. Ah, it's a tract. That one might actually be semi-useful. Sweet. Angrok. You beating them without me pouring any levels into you means I didn't have to do all this grinding. I spent like six hours on and off, not directly. It probably wasn't six hours. It feels like six hours, though. What's my playtime? Wait, wait. 20 hours. Okay, it probably wasn't six hours, but... Definitely a few hours. I spent grinding those guys, just just in case for this battle. And Angrok... I almost lost you, buddy, but... Goddamn. I'm starting to warm up to Angrok. Okay, and let's grab this... I think we need to get the water bottle, right? Or the water watering can? Do I know about the moving tree? A squirt bottle! I'll be okay. I do have trace badges. Three. Twa. Alright. My throat hurts now. From stress and anxiety. Uh, yep, down here. Angrok, you did good. You did real good there. Proud of you, buddy. He's, he's really warming up to me, and I'm warming up to him. We're warming on each other. That's the kind of thing where if, if I had a fully evolved Pokemon and they pulled off something like that, that's why when I feel like it would be... I could give them a new name with a name raider. A better name. Like, it's like their true name. So, maybe when Angrok fully evolves, and like I said, I can fully evolve him because I do have game, you know, this is all legit, I'm playing this on a Game Boy, you know, and I have the cables to trade him and evolve him, so maybe when I evolve him, I'll give him a new name that's better. I did not get an encounter for this route. Um, I was very careful not to grind over here. So, hold on. Where is this? Um, this is Route 35, that's Route 36, that's Route 37. Okay, so this route is different from that route, which is different from that route. Okay. So we can get something here. I don't remember exactly what spawns here, but let's just hope it's something cool. Um, not much we can do here, but Iroquois, you do almost no damage, so... Actually, you know what? Strength, you have Hypnosis. So you can put it to sleep. Alright. Let's reward ourselves with a new encounter. That's weird. It did the wild battle before. Alrighty, a Nidoran! When do I get a Moonstone? Ch -ch 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 Never. Alright. Um, kind of afraid to headbutt this thing. Let's just hypnosis it. Okay. Thank you for kicking me. Okay. Come on, any day now, strength. What the hell? Is this thing just impervious to hypnosis? I'm gonna use it. There we go. Finally. Fuck. Uh, I'm gonna catch you. I don't know if I really want this thing. I don't want another fucking poison type on the team. Ugh. I had pub sub for lunch. It was so good. The Italian. Oh my god. I could eat like 
two of those whole subs a day. It was so good. I only ate a half, though. I need to eat something after this. I, I starve myself and then I gorge myself. It's not healthy, I know. I, I, you're probably better off grazing throughout the day. Ugh. I was told today by two people, two, uh, two family members, that I looked thinner today. So that's a victory in and of itself. And here's another victory. Nidoran was caught. Newly added to the decks. The Poison Pen Pokemon. A foot and eight inches, 20 pounds, raises its big ears to check its surroundings. It'll strike first if it senses danger. Cute little bunny rabbit made of poison. All right, what are we giving this guy the name of? Um, he's majestic when he's a Nido King, but we'll change his name when he gets there. So what's the kind of thing where it's like, he's like a young prince rising. Okay, you know what we're gonna name him? I just watched the, it's, it's technically an animated series, but it's only six episodes that got compiled into a movie format on a DVD that I have. It's, uh, I think it's called The Weird Sisters, but it's spelled W-Y-R-D, so it might be, I thought it was Word Sisters, but I think it's Weird Sisters. And it's actually based on a book by the famous author Terry Pratchett, the Discworld series. It's about a world on a disc. It's a fantasy series. Speculative fiction, as they say. And uh, I just watched... I didn't even finish it. I had some f friends over, and, and they couldn't even finish it. So I was like, alright, I got a little farther than them, and I didn't finish it. But it was really bad animation, the, mo the movie based on the book. But it did have a couple funny moments. And there is a young prince who's ascending to a, a throne. And I assume he gets there one day. Like I said, I didn't finish it. But my assumption is he's, uh, he's going to be the king one day. And his name was Tom John. Because he, as a baby, is like whisked away after his father, the king, is murdered by his cousin. You know, it's like a power move thing. His cousin kills him. And a, a faithful servant takes the baby away and takes it to three witches in the woods. They're the weird sisters. They're not actually sisters. They're just like witch friends. And they decide to, to not raise the baby, but they, they give him some safe haven. And they, they actually give him away to an acting troupe to be raised by the acting troupe. As an actor, who because they travel all over the land and, you know, he won't be in danger. And he'll have a new identity. And the actors are like, well, wh what'd you name the baby? And one goes Tom and the other one goes John. And they're like, um, Tom John, that's his name. So his name's Tom John. And I assume he'll be king one day. So I will make the same assumption about Nidoran and name him Tom John. Tom John. Are you not going to battle me? How did I already battle him? I must have cut this thing down up here and then done it. Because you can do that. Because I swear to God, I didn't come in here. Believe me, I swear. I promise I can cut things. Segworm already had cut. You saw me get cut on Segworm. And I also beat this guy up here. See? I promise, I just beat this guy and I went down here and I forgot about it. But that's what I did. And I didn't get an encounter up there either. I didn't even fight this guy over here. There's another guy over here, right? I didn't fight this guy. Um, we're not adding Tom John to the team today. Maybe even ever. Because I already have a poison type. I don't need another. Um, that being said, I do have two normal types. Probably don't need them both. But one's going to be flying soon. So, totally fine. In fact... Cyril, let's get you some more asparagus. I think this guy is a Tangela? 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 Yeah. Schoolboy Allen! Send out Tangela. Christ. He gets uglier and uglier every time I see him. But he's worth good experience. Let's give him a sweet kiss. He's absorbing us first. He's going to absorb this sweet kiss. It did not affect him. Give him a sweet kiss. What the fuck? What the fuck? Alright. Cyril, you're clearly not going to beat him. Oh my god. Can we not escape now? Can I not switch out? And you're fucking fucked. 
Okay, I can switch out. Fuck. I thought con Constrict would make it so I couldn't switch out. Because Cyril, you're going to have some trouble with that guy's physical defense. Alright. This is doable. Poison sting him, baby. Is poison physical? Fuck, I always forget. I feel like poison's physical in this game. Now I have to fucking look it up. <laughs> Bulbapedia.com dot gov uh, let's keep poison stinging him poison type back end fetch failed guru meditation xid 85157926969 varnish cache server the hell does that mean Bulbapedia you fucking up bulbagarden dot net Okay, something is going on. I'm doing that on my phone. Let me do it on... Let me fucking... Let me just use my computer real quick. And while, I'm, while it's loading, let's go ahead and mash the poison sting on this bish. On this bishy bashy. It's bashy time! Alright, poison. Nope, I think Bulbapedia is down. It's not working on my computer either. Huh. Interesting. Well, it's quite alright. Uh, let me just Google it. Poison type physical gen 2. Uh huh, uh huh, uh huh, uh huh. Wait a minute. I just pulled up Bulbapedia from Google, but I couldn't pull it up from Bulbapedia's own website? What the fuck? Alright, yes. Confirmed. Poison types, poison moves are physical before Gen 4. Okay, and we finally poisoned his bish. It's Bashi time. Alright, uh, let's give him a bite. Show off them biters. Them teeth. The teefers. We got him. Schoolboy Alan. I think we can get his phone number, which is good, because he, he has a tangle up. Arnie, what the fuck do you want? A whole bunch of Yanma have shown up around Route 35. Fuck! That's right, I could have gotten a Yanma as my encounter! Ugh! If I just got his phone number earlier, instead of a Nidoran, that would have been cool! And I already wasted the Dunsparce one. And I would have loved to have a Dunsparce. No offense to Angrok, who we got instead, but I love Dunsparce. I know Remoraid is like that too, I think. Like, Remoraid gets called up in... Or maybe that's Crystal. Okay, well... We don't have an encounter for up here, either. So... Let's do it. Come on. This isn't Route 35, but... Please... Vulpix! Oh, fuck yes! Oh, fuck yes! Fuck yes! Yes! It's not as good as Growlithe, in my opinion, but it is super good. This is awesome. Fuck yes. Okay. Let's hypnotize it. Can this thing learn roar? Fuck. Hypnotize. Thank you! Thank you! Okay. Let's give it some confusion real quick. This won't kill, I don't think. Oh my god. You're gonna be pissing up my anus. G give me this Vulpix! Alright. Okay, I'm not going to attack anymore for fear that it wakes up and bashes itself in the head. Let's just... Fast Pokemon? Let's just give it a Great Ball. Pulpix is relatively fast, but I don't think he's like that fast. So... No! Uh -huh. Please be my friend. Please be my friend. No! Come on! Okay, okay, it's okay. Let's go Pokeball. Still have a good chance. It's asleep. It's at like two-thirds health. Come on! No! No! 